All right, guys, I'm in Beaumont right now. Um, we're looking at the uh, back side of the fire in Beaumont. Um, and of course, like most fires, they're not letting anybody get up close. But where I'm at right now, you can definitely smell the burning up here, or the, the smoke, I should say, from the burning wood. And um, there is a mandatory evacuation of all the homes in that area up there. <clears throat> there may be evacuations here, I'm not sure. Um, but I, all I see are cherries and berries from all the roads that are closed off around here. Uh, I was able to come up this road right here, but it dead ends at a property and I didn't want to follow the fire department down that little dirt road there because it goes through a gate with somebody's address and mailbox. So I'm sure that's somebody's farm driveway or something. Um, so I didn't go up that way. But as you can see, the hills right here are still burning. The last word I got, it may be different because I haven't been watching the news, but the last word that I got from the news was over 900 acres have burned and zero containment. It was three fires that had converged into like one huge blaze and they dubbed it the Apple Fire. Um, and there's a suspicion that it might be arson. Uh, some people said they saw somebody lighting fires at two different locations. So it's, I don't know, I hope that's not true. If it's true, then you got some jackass that's uh, watching the news going, yeah, I said that. I will try to see if I can get you a better view. Most of it's going to be from a distance, from a distance, uh, because they are just not letting people get up there close. I can understand that, I guess, but um, it's really smoky where I'm at here. So it's just like, it's like, picture yourself sitting around a campfire and you smell that burning wood. And that's what I, it feels like right now, smells like. So here in Beaumont, let me drive around a little bit, see if I can get you a better view. All right, guys, this is the uh, part of the fire right here. This is only part of it uh, burning in these hills right here, still in Beaumont. This is only a part of it. As you can see, if let me focus it. So that's a part of it right there. It's kind of out of focus. Hold on. Yeah, this is close as I can get. Every time I try to zoom in, it uh, gets really blurry. And probably because it's night, it won't focus. I don't want to go to night vision, really, because it'll I'll lose some of my quality. But uh, let's go. I think we can go up here and see um, a little bit more of it as well. As you see here, some flames. Well, there's some flames. It's really out of focus, but you can see how big those flames are right there. All right, guys. So this is really what it looks like from a distance. I, maybe I'll try my night vision and see if I can get zoomed in. Um, I try to zoom in here and it just gets real blurry. 
But that's what it looks like. You can see the flames right there. Let me try the night vision and see if it gets any better for you. Yeah, there's flames right there. That's a little better, isn't it? So most of the flames are out now, it looks like. Or, I mean, there's still flames all over, but the big flame that we just saw is out. Uh, that's the bulk of the fire right there, burning right there in the center. Um, all of the roads are closed. They're not letting anybody go up to where the fire's at. It's understandable, but it's unfortunate for people like me that's trying to get the, the story. Um, but right there, you can see a huge orange glow within the orange smoke. Those are flames that just rose up. I think they're uh, catching some trees on fire, maybe. But if you look, there's a little clump of trees right here in the middle. And there's an orange glow inside of the orange smoke. That's the flames that just went up. It went kind of bright. So I'm going to cut out. I've got just about all I can really get because you can't get near it. Um, I just want to let you guys know it's still burning, still out of control. There are mandatory evacuations in Beaumont in that area.